All right, folks, we'll be starting our ceremony as soon as the bells from the church toll when they finish tolling. So, welcome 
I'd just say welcome to our Veterans Day service here in East Long Meadow. Like I said, folks, good morning and welcome to the 2023 Veterans Day service here for East Long Meadow. My name is Brian Till and I'm the commander of the American Legion Post 293. And along with the rest of the members of the Post, we are glad that you came out for this ceremony today. We're going to start things off with the singing of the national anthem by East Long Meadow High School, Abigail Rare. <coughs> Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held? Half the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the red. We're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glad The bulls bursting in a Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Wonderful folks, let's give her another hand. All right, Abby will be back later to sing God Bless America. But right now we're going to move on to the Pledge of Allegiance, led by the Boy Scout Troop 179 and 272. to now have American Legion Post Chaplain Glenn Trevling come up and say an opening prayer. <clears throat> oh God, great and almighty, almighty creator, we thank and praise you for the freedom we enjoy in our country and pray that our liberties will continue to be protected. Thank you for the American heroes that, that have fought for our freedom and have faithfully served our country. We honor all our veterans for their sacrifices and their courage and integrity. As we celebrate these freedoms, we ask your blessing. On, the, on those veterans who made the ultimate sacrifice for defending our country. Bless their families and comfort them with the thankful prayers of, of a grateful nation. We thank you for our veterans past and present. Though the efforts of these individuals 
Help us continue to promote justice for all nations. Amen. Okay, folks, like I said, my name is Brian Tillin, and I'm the commander of the American Legion Post 293 here in town. Every year on the 11th of November, we observe Veterans Day, a day set aside to honor our veterans and to show appreciation for the courage and patriotism of all the men and women who have served in the military. This holiday starts a day to reflect upon the heroism of those who died in our country's service and was originally called Armistice Day. It falls on November 11th because that's the anniversary of the sign of the Armistice Act that ended World War I. However, in 1954, the holiday was changed to Veterans Day in order to account for all veterans in all wars. Military service demands a special kind of sacrifice. The places where you are sent to live and serve bring risk every day. From the time you put on that uniform for the first time, the interests of the nation move to the forefront and define your life. Those duties are ultimately shared by family members who make many sacrifices of their own, sometimes bearing the burden, burden of losing a loved one. Service brings rewards as well. There is the pride in developing one's own character, serving a cause far greater than self-interest, Every man and woman who wear America's uniform is part of a long, unbroken line of achievement and honor. No single military power in history has done greater good, shown greater courage, liberated more people, or upheld higher standards of decency and valor than the armed forces of the United States of America. This is a legacy to be proud of, and those who contribute to it must never be taken for granted. To honor our veterans, we must keep the promises we have made to them. We must care for those who have been injured in the service of our country. We must honor and remember those who have died, and we must remember those whose fate is still undetermined. We fly the prisoner of war flag on Veterans Day for a reason, to show that this nation will not relent until we have account for every last minute of our missing Americans. It's hard to find the words to say how grateful we are to all veterans, men and women, for their service. And thank yous for all that they have sacrificed for this great nation. And thank them for being the backbone of America. So what I say today in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, is if you see a veteran, go up to them and say thank you for their service. It really makes their day and it will make your day too. Because we are all proud to have served at one time or another for this great country to defend the freedoms that we all enjoy. So remember what Veterans Day is for. Some people have lost track of that. But with you people here today, I know that you have remembered what Veterans Day stands for. So, like I said, if you see a veteran, thank them. It really does make your day. And may God bless you and America. Thank you. All right, I'd like to bring up uh, Town Manager Tom Christensen for some remarks. Tom? Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks to uh, Post 293. Obviously, thank you all for your service, uh, the scouts as well, and uh, everybody for being here on this uh, special, special day. Um, a hero is defined as a person who is admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. There is no more, there is no one more courageous than the veteran. There is no more outstanding achievement than defending this nation 
and preserving the freedoms we enjoy every day. And there is nothing more noble than the selflessness and personal sacrifice demonstrated by the veteran. The unwavering commitment exhibited by our heroes in uniform commands and demands our respect and gratitude, not just today, but every day. On behalf of the grateful residents of the town of East Long Meadow, thank you for your service, thank you for your sacrifice, and thank you for being you so that we can be us. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right, now we're going to place you the wreaths here. Myself and Tom are going to bring a wreath over to the memorial across in the center there, while my senior vice commander, Jim Plushner, and Ralph Page are going to place a wreath right here by this memorial, by the Veterans Memorial marker right here in town. So could I have the wreath brought forward, please? Okay, we will now have military honors with playing a taps by East Lama High School students Cassandra Callahan and Emmanuel Garcia.
now I'd like to invite State, State Representative Brian Ash to come up to say some remarks. Thank you, Brian. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, well, thank you, Brian, for everything you do. Thank you to our uh, scouts that are here. And I think it's such a, an important part of this ceremony, having these young people here to witness, to see, to appreciate, and hopefully understand and get to know some of our veterans. Uh, also to our town council, who many of the members are here, thank you for what you do. To all of you, many who I see here every year, some new faces, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting and remembering our vets. And first and foremost, the people that we're here for, the veterans. Uh, I really am humbled and honored to be here with all of you. This is, uh, I've been doing this for 16 years. And I was talking to Tom earlier, you know, I used to write down speeches because I wanted to cover everything. But after a while, I realized that for me, it's better just speaking from the heart. And, oh, boy, I should also apologize for Senator Oliveira and Rep Puplo, both at different communities, uh, Ludlow and Wilbraham doing their events right now. But um, over the years, I was thinking about it, my first 20 years of my life, zero to 20, I was self-absorbed. I thought mostly about myself because that's who I knew the best. From 20 to 40, I was married, had kids. I started thinking more about my, put my children first and my family. And I started thinking, and I, I got to know who our veterans were and a little bit more about them. But the last 20 years, I'm 60 in case you had trouble with the math. Um, the last 20 years, I've really had a profound respect, admiration for our veterans. One, just knowing the sacrifices and everything they've done in our lives. But for me, even more important now, I've gotten to know so many of them. I've gotten to know them by name. I've gotten to know them to be my friends. I've met their, their children, their grandchildren. And that means the world to me, that they would open up their lives to me. And all the events I do every year, all the different speaking things we have to go to, I can sincerely say this means the most to me. Because what you've done in your lives, the sacrifices that you've made, everything that you've done is why we're here. The reason that we can gather in a public space, that we can speak freely, that we can do what we want, whether we're going to a picnic, whether you're going to a movies, whether you're going to a show, whatever you're doing, we have the freedom to do that because of our veterans. And I know sometimes people forget about that. They forget about the freedoms that we have. But when you look around the world, when you see the turmoil, when you see the fighting going on, when you see that people don't have the freedom to speak their mind, they don't have the freedom to do what they want when they want, there's no other place I'd rather live. Is it perfect here? Absolutely not. But it's certainly the best in the world. And it's the best in the world because of our veterans. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm doing the scan scene. If I pretend Pupalo made it yet. No, usually he just pops in. But uh, right now I'd like to bring Abby back up to sing God Bless America. God bless America, then that I love stand beside. Through the night with light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans wide with fun. God bless America.
Thank you, Abby. So he stood here. Okay. Well, now I'd like to wrap up our ceremony by giving thanks to Abby, our singer, for our trumpeters for taps, Cassandra and Emmanuel, Boy Scout Troop 272 and 179 for uh, coming out today for here, to all of you for showing up, to all the veterans from American Legion Post 293, and we also have veterans from the Sisto Lombardi Italian American Veterans Organization here with us today too, so let's hear it for them. I'd like to also thank uh, Tom and Ralph for being here to lay the wreaths and for Brian Ash with his words of wisdom. And especially I'd like to thank everybody in the town that came out for this. I think this is the biggest turnout we've had over the year. And it really is nice to see so many people in town remember us. Once again, thank you all for coming. You are invited back to the Legion Post if you'd like to come back for some light refreshments. I don't know how much is left. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you right now, these Boy Scouts have an appetite over here. So, But anybody's more than welcome to come back to visit, say hi, or whatever, have a cocktail, have some orange juice, coffee, or whatever's left of the donuts and the danishes. Thank you once again for coming out, and have a great day today.